You know, the funny thing is, I used to be so red pill, believing everything that I heard online. A lot of different phases. I had my blue pill phase, I had my red pill phase. But nowadays, it really seems like nowadays, I just think for myself. So, are you a fence sitter when it comes to the fact that women are not equal to men? Are you a egalitarian? What does exactly that even mean? I look at statistics, I look at facts, I look at research before I even do anything or make any statements based off an ideology. So you're bragging that you don't believe anything purely off ignorance? That's one of the most strangest humble brags. Because believing every single person at face value 100%, it's not good, man. It's really not good. So today I'm going to be talking about the myth of every woman being a slut. Now, I've heard AMS say this. I heard Mr. Locario say this. I heard RSD say this. And honestly, bro, like, I get it. You know, I get it. You know, in a lot of these videos, I sound hella blue-pilled and everything like that. And I see with this video, the trend will continue. I'm just kidding. But maybe every woman is a slut to them because they have game or they're, you know, PUAs. So they're trying to exaggerate to sell the idea that uh, they're getting available sex and that they're alphas. I mean, I really hope you played like a video to show some context or anything that would give us like what they actually said but i'm looking at the research and the research is telling me something that these people aren't really telling me so obviously um i do agree that a lot of girls in society are hoes like i'm not gonna deny that but you know i actually did the research and i actually came up with substantial data that tells the truth about women in our society keep in mind that women lie men lie everybody lies some people tell the truth, but I'm going to take this with a grain of salt. So according to research, 3% of people wait until they're married. 3%. So number one, that's going to debunk the entire myth that every single girl is a hoe. And that your girl is a hoe. And that every single girl is going to be smashed by a player. Every single girl doesn't have self-control. So what does that prove? 97% of women are whores? I mean, what's what's your point? And what's the gender breakdown of these 3%? I mean, it could logically be that the 3% are all men. And what uh, what is their definition of virginity? Because a woman could suck a dick and technically still be a virgin. I mean, uh, I, there's a lot of more questions to be answered. I mean, this answer uh, brings up more questions than it answers questions i should say now i get it that women are more emotional than men but to label every single girl a hoe is just it, it's it's unhealthy i'll tell you three reasons why no actually four reasons why number one it's gonna really lower men's esteem about life see as men we need women and and women need men now, on behalf of all red-pilled men everywhere, speak for your damn self. It's cool if you need a woman, but don't put your projections in insecurity on the whole male race, my man. Second thing it might do is honestly convert normal men into players. Some men are going to pursue relationships and uh, they're going to become players. In theory, if all women were sluts, I mean, the only option you have is to kind of just want to be a player. It will really kind of entice men just to be players. Because if no woman is worth commitment, then you might as well just be a player. Honestly, it's just kind of strange that it just falls into their market completely. If all women are sluts, I mean, I'm here. Oh, quote unquote, I'm here so I could teach you how to be a player and run through these women. Or how about this? Since all women are sluts, according to your logic then how about you just opt out of uh, having you know any sexual or romantic relationship at all with women and i don't think that this guy no offense to him actually knows how to be a player like i, I wouldn't trust this guy with teaching me how to get women i'm sorry the third thing it might do is um really just make men settle for whores 
like your father did. Got him! But no, really, this guy is suggesting, this guy is being a cuck apologist and suggesting men settle for whores. I can't take this guy serious.